Shanxi is known for a lot of different traditional tourist spots like the Terracotta Warriors, Bell Tower, Drum Tower, revolutional tourist sites in Mao Zedong time, and much, much more. SXDaily.com created a top five list on some newer tourist destinations that rose in popularity last year. At number five, we have Chujiang Ruins Park. The park, which was built in 2008, is truly an ecological paradise. With its wide open spaces and beautiful big lakes, it's a place worth visiting if you simply want to dial it down and cruise. With amazing little boat rides available, you can sit back and quietly enjoy the water and take it all in. If you have the whole day to spend, it is also worth visiting some other tourist sites around the park like the Big Wild Goose Pagoda or the Mausoleum of Hu Hai, who was one of Qin Shi Huang's sons and also the second emperor of the Qin Dynasty. At number four, we have the very famous Da Tong Furong Garden. The large imperial culture theme park is separated into 12 different sections with the main attraction being the largest water screen in the world. The screen plays movies, music, or so other shows. The music drama Dreaming of the Tang Dynasty is one that's highly recommended. This whole area is a perfect combination of guarding and architecture. In 2012, the gardens hosted many events, including the New York Temple Fair, Duanwu Dragon Festival, Zhongqiu Ceremony, International Pop Music Festival, Christmas Parties, Shangsi Festival, and much more. There are also a lot of amazing daily shows, including the Shadow Play, Stilts, Chin Opera, and other precious and tangible cultural heritage performances. At number three, we have the Taiping National Forest Park. This beautiful spot is a place that has been attracting tourists this year with its breathtaking scenery and its amazing wildlife. Located in the Qingling Mountains, this forest park is a tourist dream for getting out of the city. Now with great facilities like hotels, restaurants, as well as many campsites around the area, it's easy to understand why this is becoming a must-see when visiting Shanxi. At number two, we have the Fa Min Temple Cultural Scenic Area, which is a recent addition to the Fa Min Temple. This new complex that was built in 2009 by the Shanxi government is located in Fufeng, which is 120 kilometers from Xi'an. This temple is a very influential Buddhist destination with people coming from all over the world to practice their religion and also to see many famous Buddhist relics. One of the most valuable Buddhist relics is the Sakyamuni's finger bones. In 2012, the number of tourists increased 50% from the previous year to 150,000. Finally, our number one spot goes to Xi'an ancient city walls. The city walls had a lot of foot traffic this year. Not only does the wall have a great historical and cultural background, but this year was also set the stage for many national events. Some events including the Lantern Festival, Mooncake Festival Party, Kite Flying Festival, and the International Xi'an Marathon, which had 30,000 participants. It's easy to see why this place is number one and why it will continue to grow as a top destination. Regardless, Shanxi has so much to offer. You just have to come check it out for yourself. That's it for today. If you've enjoyed our show, remember to catch us every day here on Blue Ocean Network. For more information, please visit bon.tv. I'm Aaron Stadenrovi. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.